Hey guys, it's Anissa. Welcome back to my channel. I got a little package in the mail yesterday, so I figured we we're gonna make some fun out of it. If you guys have never heard of BoxyCharm, it's a subscription box where you pay $21 a month to get over $100 value of full-size high-end products. I figured that I would do like a try-on and kind of give you guys my first impressions my opinion, what I think on everything. And yeah, this is what the box looks like. All right, it's a little wet because it's been sitting in my bathroom. The one that I got last month was really beaten up. So this is like a, an upgrade. And I also did pay for the Boxy Lux. I paid for that. You pay $28.99 for every third month to get like $250 worth of stuff. So I'm really excited. I think that's coming up in September which is my birthday month, so that will be exciting. We open it up and it says, hello, Charmer. And then this is what the inside looks like as of right now. So this first thing on the top, what is this? Okay, I didn't get one of these last time. This is like a little card. Oh, it's just you pay $10 for a facial at Ulta. Okay, that, that's, that's lovely. And then the other thing, so then you get, this is not what my thing looked last month, like last month. I'm guessing that this month they tried to do more of a natural cleaner box. So on here, there's two, four, five things, just like usual. And we're going to add up the value. This month's box was worth $132. And so we're just going to go through and I'm going to open everything. So the first thing in here is these Lexi... J. They're brushes. They're eco-friendly. Um, there's a foundation brush, eyeshadow brush, a crease brush. And these retail for $30. So let's see. Okay, well. Uh-oh. So. These are synthetic brushes. Foundation applies better with real hair brushes because synthetic brushes tend to leave a lot of streaks and stuff on your face. But we're gonna see, I could be wrong. And this one is like huge. I literally have so many brushes this size and I don't use them for my crease. I use them for like my like nose highlight or something. So, um, and then this one is like literally tiny. So, I don't know. I'll, I'm gonna use those today and see, see how we feel about them. And then this right here is the Elemis Superfood Vital Veggie Mask. And this retails for $35. It nourishes, smooths, and brightens for softer, smoother, more radiant skin. Okay, next thing in here, cleansing spa water. They're uh, caught and remove waterproof makeup and impurities while nourishing the skin with mineral-rich cleansing spa water. Next is the Butter London Natural Goddess Eyeshadow Palette. So it's six highly pigmented, long-lasting shades. Cruelty-free. Shadows is messed up, but I'll show you guys. That's what what we're looking like it's not something that's necessarily practical for me this one is the luna by luna lip gloss in the shade venus so that this retails for 18 dollars, and then the eyeshadow palette retails for 32 if i didn't mention that earlier now that i have everything i'm kind of just going to go through and do like my full face and incorporate everything that i have where i can i'm going to review everything because we're going to do the face mask and the makeup wipes later Okay, so first step is foundation, and I think today I'm really scared because I really feel like this is not going to go well at all, and if it doesn't, I'm going to have to fix it. I think today we're just going to use the Clinique, Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer in the shade 26 Amber. So, I'm just going to put this on my face. Really? Okay. Anything else? Okay. Guys, I'm so scared. Okay. Um, Lord, help me. This is like clinging to any imperfection on my face, and I'm really not loving it. Yeah. Yeah, this is not good at all. So, I'm not even gonna bother with the rest of this i just it's it's not 
blurring everything that's why i like using like a thicker more dense foundation brush because it's gonna like disperse the product obviously a lot more than this will so we're gonna switch over to the it cosmetics airbrush buffing foundation okay so i did finish my foundation did my concealer baking eyebrow eyebrows and next we're going to do eyeshadow i'm really scared to use this brush just because it's so big and i'm really like limited on what i can use in this so what i think i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna use all these colors and then i'm gonna use a few brushes besides these two because that's just not practical <laughs> okay so i'm gonna take my mac i feel like this is the number rubbed off but i'm pretty sure it's just like a fluffy crease crease brush we're gonna take temptress which is the um this burgundy color right here and i'm gonna put that in my crease they're super easy to blend so like i kind of put a little too much on the outside in the beginning but it was super easy to just blend out and fix so that is a big plus maybe i should zoom y'all in i don't know if you want to be zoomed in though okay so then i'm gonna <laughs> and i really haven't worn eyeshadow in a super long time <laughs> because i've had eyelash extensions and i still have some as you can see they're like hanging on by a thread now i'm going to take this 246 lexi precision this is it says for precision crease but i'm going to use it for my lid and i'm going to pack on this color diva right here oh okay work oh yes okay that's pretty go i'm taking the large eye blending brush and i'm just gonna kind of blend that all together we're gonna use this for highlight because i'm not liking i like this brush though this brush is good so this is the eye look now all i have left is my highlight and my lip so for my highlight i'm going to go back into this um, eyeshadow palette and i'm going to use natural goddess and i'm going to use the large eye blending uh in 250. Blend out that side. finally i'm going to use the luna by luna lip gloss so let's see and this is more like shimmery it has like holographic ish pieces in it let's see oh that's pretty. So, you know, this lip gloss actually has like a little bit of tint to it. The last one that I used had tint, but it was like, I think so bright that it kind of just like blended in with everything. All right. So this is the finished look. I really liked everything except for these brushes. Oh, I'm going to, you know, go do actual life things. And then I'm going to come back and we can take my makeup off and I can give you guys, I guess, like a very first first impressions of the um mask and of the cleansing water spa water wipes hi i'm back so i've been at work i've been gone for maybe like eight hours nine hours and it's really weird because today i got a lot of compliments on my highlighter and i never get compliments on my highlighter so like maybe this is a sign we're gonna take a little field trip to the bathroom and then we're gonna try out this mask and these wipes Okay, I look extra orange. I'm gonna have to look in the viewfinder for this one. Okay. I don't know, I don't like using a makeup wipe first just because I feel like it tugs on the skin. So I like to like loosen the makeup first and then the makeup wipe usually just like glides over my skin really nice and good. So, I'm not going to take my, I'm going to try to take as much of my eye makeup off as I can with this, but I'm really not supposed to um, use regular eye makeup remover or makeup remover on my eyes. I don't feel like, you know, sometimes when you take your makeup off, there's like, a, not a film, but there's just another layer of something. I don't feel that. So, we're going to try to take off. I wish it was a little bit more wet. As you can see, mostly all of my makeup is gone. This is what my 
cloth looks like. <laughs> I'm back. Okay, so I showered and I'm nice and clean and fresh and good. So now we're going to face mask. I wonder what color it is. I have a feeling it's green and I was very right. So this is what the consistency I'm a new woman. Get it up here, because this is where I get a lot of little bumps from the oil in my hair. <laughs> it burns. I'm gonna leave it on for 10 minutes and then we're gonna come back. <laughs> okay, so the instructions said to take it off with a damp cloth and uh, it might stain it so that we love that. You know, this is so much of a better idea because I usually just wash it off but I'm, this is so much easier. Oh yeah, why? And so what have you been doing? It's all off and I feel clean and like my skin is like super soft. And it feels usually, I use like the face masks that are like purifying and you know, as I said earlier. So I feel like clean, but this also like put moisture into my skin so it's not completely dry. And I'm kind of, living <laughs> i really had fun doing this and i want to start doing them every month because that was a good time thank you guys for watching and i will see you next week bye